Hello and welcome to TFA Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. I am sure nearly all Southern Cameroonians, all Cameroonians know this man. This man. He is General Namberi. He is one of the first Ambazonia generals when this crisis started in 2017. And he is amongst the first Amazonians fighter who surrendered to the Cameroon government. We thought by then that they surrendered genuinely. The government promised to give them something and have set you some by him, according to what he said. I will allow you people listening to the video to the end while he speak. He said. He has for more than two years today that he left and, and surrendered, that he will not fight again. He is not having national identity cards. He is not having a passport. That the government used him and then abandoned him. That he, made, he convinced more than 600 Amazonian fighters to surrender. Yet the government kept on promising him. And he said they are struggling by all possible for him to return to Cameroon. And he said he will not. And he gave a message directly to the Prime Minister of Cameroon saying that what? If they don't settle him, he will return back. And every month, he will not miss his, ta his target. That he will destroy at least 30 Amos car every month. Meaning he is threatening to come back and join the Amazonian fighter. If the government fail to settle him, listen to him. As I alert you, follow it. That is having work for more than 100 million. Cost more than 100 million. And he's sitting with some of it. Yeah, um, good morning. Yeah, I'm sending this message directly to the Prime Minister, my father, the head of government, Arjun Guti. I've always been loyal to you as a son, and I've, I give all my priority to you, and I forget about anything. The stuff was going well. But little did I know that politics is a policy. I've discovered that I've been used and my path is finished. So nobody has time. I stopped this right now because I was scared of oh, somebody come and bought me and I should stop. I cannot be an adopted son to the Prime Minister of my country, the head of government. And I was called by the President of my country. I'm still living like somebody who was called by a tapper from a village. If I want to pay my house rent, I need to beg for money. If I want to buy gas in my house, I need to beg for money. I cannot tell you how many times I want to start to pull office to bet that I need a business on my own. Let me start something on my own. And they told me that I should go and come back. I met you in the house. You say you have approved it. I should meet the director of cabinet, I Bune, that is going to give me the money, which I have done it several times. That is true that what you have been doing to me it should not be like, I'm ungrateful. I will sit there and thank you. But, at this particular point of, of the day, you need to understand, I never hand over these things to you. I never. You know very well, in the whole Southern British Cameroon, I am the only and the oldest general that is still alive. And I was holding a very bigger portion of soldiers which I was controlling, which there are 6,500, starting from Memento Kupe Maningoba, right to Bameda, to the Northwest. If I have not removed this boy from the bush, about, let me just say 600 have come out from the bush, which all the risks have been taken is Memeda, to the Northwest. If I have not removed this boy from the bush, about, let me just say 600 have come out from the bush, 
which all the risks I'll be taking is like I'm a madman. Every day people will be laughing at me. I cannot stand in front of Ikeko if I want to talk about money. He has made hundreds and thousands of billions. Look at what he has in his village at Crow River State. I cannot talk to him. Majority of these boys, they are 100% rich. I do not say money is everything, but that they are supposed to be comfortable. I'm very sorry. I'm supposed to be comfortable. I'm sending this message directly to you because I don't want to be quoting things. I have Nigeria ID card. I have Nigeria driving license. I have Nigeria passport. But in my country, I'm not able to have ID card and passport. Which means for these two years, eight months, they have proved to me that I do not belong here. I came here to take my children and wife. Because of you people, I've lost my wife. Because I was so busy. My car was parked in a hotel. Tell the hotel person that I'm coming to take. And they give me condition. If this car sleeps here more than one week, know that you will start to pay. And the car make two years, eight months. They are super. I saw, I'm very, very sorry. You know, so beautiful. I don't call around Bush. When the doctor said to call me, say, my car to pay. You know, I, I went to see me, so I see no because you know, see, when man fool you two times, that's a very bad thing. I don't feel like man fool me two times. I'll be very sincere, but I'm not going to count on my own. If one want to help me and you want to forget about my life, from Nigeria to America or from Nigeria to UK, that's the first one. Secondly, what an ID card or passport, when I get power with my passport, or anything for me to me for the play one day. Dr. Sasa will give me. That's another thing. Thirdly, I don't lost my woman. Because of my delay, I don't keep my opinion for two years, eight months. Now, woman, if you think anything, I want to come, everything will spoil. And it will start back like at square one. When I only call for transport, the tower, the land for convincing so people to say yes. That transport, I was insulted on top of it. They say I'm calling too much. Many complaints. And after two weeks, they send the transport when she has only left finally. The transport was useless. So that is why I'm saying this to you is you are a good man. I know if I find myself back in this country, I will not miss my target. One Amoka, if I learn very well, it's 250 million. I'm capable of spoiling at least in any one month. I make sure 30 to not move. I don't care how many people will be inside. I know I will die. I'm not a god. But I'm not free my that is making film or not pity that they are doing all those things and doing film or ten kobo in there. You know very well I put Ikeku there and Ikeku put ten kobo there. What ten kobo has just done is just scratching the wall. That is to go in Kerbuna if you know very well. So I do 10 million times 10, which you think I will do. I don't deserve to die. Now, two things. That is, reply me, or I go ahead. All link to you. Thank God, say, the gem of Pamu, be helped me by five material. So that my country can make a cash me, so that they keep me on top. The five material. I never chop, I never drink up. It's there among them. Matera was there that was down. It passed 100 million. I know the, I know the small people who are going to talk to the show, my Matera, the old people, because of some outfrighting some man. They got that time rich, but I need to talk to you enough in the world. You will take an IC fee. So I thank you plenty. Pass meets. I know the disobedient old man. When I don't use me, I don't understand. So that they use me. And everybody for this amount of rich, all man get proud. I don't get one. I beg with a forgot name. I don't want to step on the one go far. I don't want my pocket, they go the way they take care of my own thing. No call you now. Every for two years. So thank you, not plenty.